I don't really have a go-to dish. I come to a market, I find whatever I find, and I make it different every time. Hey, how are you? I'm gonna get some of these guys. I had no intention coming in using Japanese eggplant, but what I saw was so beautiful it made me want to cook with it. So today I'm gonna to make a chilled eggplant soup. So we do it at the restaurant, it's really interesting, but it can also be done at home. There's also a salad component of whatever else we find here. And so we'll see what we get. Hi, Jules. Do you want to help? Yeah? Okay. Fan. And the fan. You want to put the fan on? I'll put the fan on. So, we roast off the eggplant. If you have an outside grill, it's not a bad idea. Okay, change of plans. We're going to smoke us out of house and home. So we're going to broil it. The restaurant, we do it the same way every time, regardless of how long it takes or how inconvenient it is at home. Find the best way to do it based on the kitchen and, and what we can do that's smart. How am I going to cook if, if I'm holding you? How can I cook if I'm holding you? This is a spice called cumin. And then this one, coriander. So we're just going to toast it very briefly. This old kitchen is probably circa 1963 along with the house. It's kind of a big lie that you need expensive equipment to cook good food. See? Can you, can you smell it? Does it smell good? And the other thing at home, I have to clean up after myself. I mean, we do at the restaurant too, but there's a lot of help. There's no help at home. So uh, I'm inclined to use less pots where I can. So while we've got the pot and we've got oil in it, there are peppers. So these are padron peppers. The bigger they get, the spicier they get. So we kind of want to blister them a little bit. I don't know if you notice, it's very clean, kind of um, alarmingly clean. So I'm actually not allowed to fry things, so I never do this, but my wife isn't home right now, so I'm gonna do it and then I'm gonna clean it up. But then there'll be a video and she'll know that I fried something in the house and I'll probably be in trouble. So let them cool down a little bit. And I am almost sure these are done now. Oh yeah, we're over here for a minute, they cool down. These are Romano beans. I prefer to cook them until they're tender and not just kind of half cooked 1980s crisp tender style. Hey, Jules, do you want to try a green bean? Okay, let's try a green bean together. I remember the first thing I ever cooked for Jules, it was uh, carrots. I remember where I got the carrots, I remember how I cooked them, I remember pureeing them. It was like a big moment. It's good, right? I think it's ready. So I'm just kind of cutting it open. I'm going to take a spoon and I'm going to scrape out the inside. Because of the way I cooked them, they didn't all cook evenly. This one, the way it's kind of super soft, that's ideal. And look, a little bit of skin gets in, it's fine. Home is not a pursuit of perfection. Home is pursuit of dinner. One of the things that's, that's really unfortunate is, is the fear of doing something wrong. Because you have to do things wrong. It's like how you learn, and if you get good ingredients, and you're trying your best, in the end, it's going to be fine. All right, so let's put the rest of it in. Vegetable stock, salt, cumin and coriander. Jules likes chilies okay, but doesn't have a big spicy palate, so we're not going to go crazy on the chilies. And we're going to cook it until it's soft. Next step is salad. There's no real rules about it, but just a bunch of different things that have different textures and flavors. Everything's getting cut a little bit small so that one bite has a lot of things in it. Purslane, it's a succulent, so it's kind of crunchy and juicy, a little bit sour. And the other thing we're gonna put in is a little bit of preserved lemon. Good enough. You want it like falling apart baby food. And we'll put it in the ice bath. You wanna stir it around so it cools as quickly as possible. It smells great though, right? So uh, let's get flowers. All right, Jules, what do we want to put in our salad? Do you want some mint? How about these flowers over here? Yeah. Okay, and I put this one in. I'm plugging in the blender. Our chilled eggplant. Carefully measure in some olive oil, vinegar, and a lot more lemon, like maybe five parts lemon to one part vinegar at least. Really good. Salad 
It's just lemon juice and olive oil. Bobo basil in. Salt. Pepper. Let's plate it in these bowls. I think that'll look nice. since we happen to have them. See, home cooking. But it doesn't look like home cooking anymore. Hey Jules, you ready? So there's a lot of difference for me between cooking at home and the restaurant in some ways because the restaurant cook very complicated, difficult, ephemeral food at home. We cook kind of simple food that just would taste good.